That's a damn nice card. It was. It is. Oh, and so... Punching these crates gives me fatigue. We should loot and stuff after the dungeon. Or while I'm uh, recovering from injuries. Uh, I think we go back, back, and then... And I like to set it up with impulse on the corner here in the dungeons. Which may not be the right way to do it. But this way, every time they get pushed back, they get pushed back into the wall. And that also stuns them. So it kind of works out. I, th I think that is worth doing. Although the other kiting... Or getting, let him get close and then get pushed away and then you apply Jolt again. It's interesting. <laughs> Hello? So like that, I see. Um, I don't know if he ever switches back into the bow if I let him go and he comes back. I think he's going to come back fighting melee still, so it'll be fine. And then, oh, I am out of the mana. And health. So if I um, do or eat enough food, then we become well fed. Like so, we get uh, health restoration, fatigue resistance, healing efficiency, and well, hunger resistance doesn't really matter. Minus five dodge chance though. So now we want to have this condition while prolonging the fight. And we got XP from that kill and uh, leveled up. So everything's fine. Then I've been debating vitality and willpower, and really we should check the electromancy skills, what they require. They will need willpower. Okay, so hopefully that one's a common denominator for all of them. Willpower, willpower. Yeah, okay, so that's going to guide the build. I don't want to do agility, I want to do willpower then. Willpower gives us cooldown, duration, reduction, so we can spam spells more. And then we have abilities, energy cost. And it's a good thing to lower that one, because the amount of fatigue you get from a spell is based on the cost of the spell. So rather than taking vitality to gain more energy, we are reducing the cost of the spells, which lowers the fatigue. Here you would pay more mana, mana and also get more fatigue. But maybe vitality is more efficient, who knows? and having health is nice too yeah but this one also gives magic power pain resistance fortitude all good things have you looked into seal of power in magic mastery we are going to do that now we are going to look at seal of fitness which reduces the backfire chance we haven't really seen it impact us much but this is the way of getting around it entirely it, it is a uh what type for 16 turns, you get a buff. Each turn grants one stack of the effect up to four stacks. Moving the, to the tide decreases the number of stacks. Moving with one stack removes the effect. Moving with one stack removes the effect. So you want to be standing still. And then you lower the chances of all kinds of things. Then you get cooldown reduction too. So you can have up to like, what, up to four stacks. That's 40% cooldown reduction while standing still and spamming spells. With low backfire chance. That's kind of cool. Precise movement is for when backfire is already a problem. And I don't think it is. So we're not going to take that one yet right now. Dissipation for each point of received magic or nature damage. So this is yeah, again for like fighting against magicians. Which is not really what we want to be doing. And then the seal of power. And this is the one I've tried out. And this we are probably going to go for this. Yeah. You get this seal 
buff, which it says here that it lasts five turns, but it's going to be, be replaced by a new one every time you cast a spell from one of the other magic schools. And depending on which one it is, you, you, the buff will change into one of those three there. So we're going to get the Electromancy uh, buff here, which is just extra damage on them. The other sh And weapon damage when we punch with the staff, which is cool. Lowered backfire chance and lowered fumble chance. We get plus one bonus range, 30%, 33% extra magic power, and more magic power in the bottom. Yeah. It's a cool spell. Oh. And uh, I forgot we were in a fight. But we are well fed and we are full health now. This one is very expensive. 27 energy, then we can cast Impulse, I think, as the only thing. No, see, I can't even afford that right now. Okay, but that could be a play. Can I get a tick of energy restoration? I did. I'm sure I can beat that guy. Uh, we can throw stuff at him. It's always recommended. Okay, then the seal. Then impulse, which is stronger now. And then we punch him with the enhanced weapon damage and he gets pushed away. If we had more mana, we could throw the jolt here, but we can throw the thing at his face. And it helps. And he's running. A stone shard, indeed. So, pop, seal, and jolt. Stand still, stack, jolt again, no variant. The problem with that is that we don't have the mana right now. But it, that's the theory, yeah. We, we pop the seal right before we start fighting, and you, I didn't point it out, but the, it will reset every time, I think, you cast in your spell. So, uh, the timer on the buff is not a problem. It, it goes away when we exit combat, more or less. That's the way to think about it. Uh, pick or attack, we will lock pick. Okay, that's why we bought an extra set of lock picks. Cloth, also a valuable trade resource. Don't forget to check for traps. Bow amulet, what? Oh, okay, I saw another new amulet yesterday, but this one is also new, and it's good for bowmen, I suppose. Cooldown duration reduction is good, so that's nice and fumble chance. Accuracy, I don't know if that counts as spells, but not missing in melee is also nice, so... Cool. Fatigue is now at 17%, and I think that is capping out my... yeah. We cannot have more maximum energy right now because of our fatigue. So time to eat the blueberries that we have. Oh, and then I threw up. I was already satiated. God damn it. <laughs> Classical kitchen move. To throw up in the middle of dungeons. Here's a dead enemy and a guy close to us. So here we're going to pop seal of power. Jolt him. And I don't want to walk in, because he might have more friends, but we're just going to fight him right here. He'll be fine. Timer, Electromancy Seal, 10, up to 15 now, so it keeps going. The more spells we cast. I should not have cast a spell there, there's no reason to, to risk the backfire. We already had him. And the mana, we have to wait for the mana to rebuild. It costs fatigue. Yeah. So I want to chain in more melee attacks when when that's sufficient. Any deaths so far? No, no. We just started. <laughs> One hour. No deaths so far. Except, I mean, we're spreading death wherever we go. Um, I really won't really be able to afford it anyway, so I think we just go with Impulse here. Cool. Oh. 
Okay, don't fail me now, lockpicks. Thank you. Uh, mm, we're gonna loot this because it's a dead end. Ooh. A net. Very cool. It's look like with backfire you take damage while the spell still fires off. Very subtle indeed. So I, I think it's not very dangerous because we're just starting, but once we get more and more complex spells, some of them will have higher backfire damage as a base and chance. And so it becomes more dangerous to be a high level mage. And if you're not like covering your back with using stuff like the uh, magic ability tree powers to lower your backfire chance and stuff like that, uh, then you'll maybe die from it in the heat of battle. Another guy died to a trap here. Look at that. So now I have to make a judgment call. Do we need to even spend mana and therefore fatigue against him? Because we're going to have less mana against the boss if I generate more fatigue right then the maximum energy goal go down we can throw less spells against the boss in the dungeon so i really think the impulse here is enough there may be one jolt on top of it right like that oh yeah and then we didn't spend a lot of mana Can we use this trap against the boss? Probably. Maybe. That was my do. <laughs> are you multi-magicking? No, we are electromancy mixing in magic mastery. So this is the new support tree for magic. And we have this seal of power going. We're going to have to attack the door. Oh, oh no. God damn it. Where was the other trap? Someone else stepped on the trap that was here. Oh, this is annoying. Oh, here the seal will be valuable. I should have thrown some things. But here we go. Oh, and I can't even take cover. I should have smashed up this barrel here. He's aiming at me. This one won't affect his ability to damage me. No. Kill that guy. Oh, he changed into melee. Perfect. Uh, we will hit him. Look at him goofing around. Perfect. Were you expecting this update? Or caught you by surprise? I, I was expecting it from, you know, they announced it few weeks ago the actual date and that surprised me i thought it would take them longer so pleasantly surprised now we are tired skills energy cost goes up energy restoration goes down by five percent fumble chance goes up cooldown duration goes up spells energy cost goes up which causes more fatigue okay Chest. Okay, we're gonna have too much loot. Well, we have optimism. Uh, 
this way. What's the ability in your zero hot pass slot? Indeed, that is the campfire. You get this one for, for free when you start the game. You just need a big cup of coffee and you'll get on your feet again. And we should indeed be drinking that Nikkev thing, which is coffee in this world. It should be, it should help. And there are other things I think that we can find that will help with fatigue. There might be some of the herbs that I haven't checked that help with fatigue. And they are added a new boss. I know nothing about this new boss. Nothing at all. So we're probably going to die horribly when we find him, if we find him. Eat the cabbage. This is a non-magic book. We get bonuses from reading spell books now, but we do not get anything from that thing. Can I... Mm. I don't know if we can use that trap in a fight if we come up the stairs here, but maybe. Who knows, you know. I hate that I have to attack the doors. I haven't repaired my stick yet. I haven't even identified it. Yeah, I forgot about that. That guy hurts, I think. So I think we are going to power up against him. Here he comes. Does the, do they still have that pull? The hooking chop, yeah. So he's going to try to pull me in. Oh, that's still within range. I'm so stretch a dummy. Okay, perfect. Oh, I goofed it. But okay, we're getting lucky. I messed up the order. Treatise books also seal itself for a good amount of money. Yeah, way more than prior. Good evening. I was waiting for you to do a fresh run. And here it is. Indeed. We've just started. So you're not too late to the party. This dungeon man is so huge. Here's the prisoner. We got to find the boss before we fall asleep. Another archer. Oh, but he has a friend. And there might be more here. I can't walk in. Not ideal. Should we pop the seal here? Probably, right? Now. And then I think I step back here. Because he's still taking damage from that. And we can do that again. I don't know if he will put, be pushed into him. He's knocked back, but didn't take extra damage from being knocked back there. Okay. And the, the things will not last forever. So let's uh, get back in the action. And he can punch through once, but then he has to come closer. And now we're fighting him. Could have cast a spell to renew the seal there. I didn't realize it was running out. All right. Oh, and I could have used my throwing net. We gotta start using some of the supplies in general. I also want to pick up the spear for throwing and a crude amulet. Oh, this one helps with spells. Fumble chance and backfire chance. But the other one gives us minus two fumble chance. And I don't feel like back the backfire is a huge problem actually, so I don't think I will use that one. But the short bow here should be an upgrade. Maybe that's what I should do, start using the bow a bit. Just for one fight.
Zeigerhorns. I'm still a bit wounded here. I don't know if this guy maybe hurts some commotion. Oh, that's the boss. Let's make a speedy recovery here. That should boost my health restoration a bit. Oh, we can net him. Maybe we impulse him and then net him. No. Net him and shoot him with a bow. And then when he breaks out, we switch into spells. Oh, and traps. There was a trap upstairs. Hmm. I think he deaggroed. Okay. Full health. Uh, there's no longer a second bandit dungeon. Yeah. Okay. Besides Osberg. Oh, okay. He's a big enemy, so the net will break. Yeah. I think you're right. We have to fight him at some point. Uh, what about my Caltrops? I forget, forget where I threw them. Did we use them? Now he snuck up on me. Ah, he was hiding. Okay. Okay, starting with five damage for free there, and then we miss with the net. All right. Good start. I can't get away from him here. Uh, but we impulse him somewhere in this area. I gotta switch into the staff, I think, because this one gives us plus 20% energy cost for spells. So we gotta switch into the staff and we gotta get out the sigil or maybe we skip the seal. Here, switch, impulse, and pray. Oh, he stunned me, staggered me, and dazed me. That's happening my mana too. Okay. Uh, so this needs to be reapplied soon. Now we can't reapply it. Now we can. What happened? Oh, I got second wind. Okay. We gotta reapply the impulse now, otherwise it would have gone away. That prolongs it by seven turns. Fight or flight. If I throw seal of power, this costs 28, and then this is 15. Can't afford it. I think I win. Forty-three. No. Ah, he's running. Electromancy OP. You could do it with some mobility skills like leg sweep. That would be good, pretty, pretty good. Hmm. All out. 
They do two more damage now per shot from six to the eight with the seal. Oh, right. Hello, sir. You are being saved. Do not resist. We got another incoming, and I have no mana. Smooth. Thank you. Uh... Got him. Oh, he's helping? No way. Oh, he's totally helping. <laughs> Be my guest. I wonder if, what happens if he goes down. No, oh, well, never mind. Look at him go. Uh, oh, he didn't get away. Amazing. And I got the XP. Awesome. Mm. Oh, we threw up. <laughs> Whoops. Now I'm well fed again. Oh, a crowbar, nice. running away they usually switch into melee when you walk into melee range with them oh oh we lost the seal because I took so long this is how I die should have run away No, close, close the door. Jesus. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, okay. Well, let's hope this hits. It did. Survival. Maybe the farmer guy is still here to help us. They're fighting over here? Now I don't have a good way to engage him. Uh, well, either way, whoever's here is going to be pretty injured. And he is alive? Okay. He made an, an archer flee. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. He stopped fleeing. Oh. 
Oh. Don't kill my farmer friend. The mission fail if the captive dies. I have no idea. This is the first time I've ever seen him move around, which is cool, obviously, but I don't know. I'd like to find out. <laughs> but I'm not going to kill him. I wonder if he works like uh, the, the Osbrook people, though, where he just like goes into a coma if he goes down. That would be my guess, but I don't know. He's pretty wounded. I think we can just... Impulse him a bit. A farmer going all gung-ho, indeed. I think it's cool. He's willing to fight. cool the stunning effect it has just by pushing them back all the time for free they lose a turn we don't get hurt uh no way he's blocking my path and there's no swap key so now i gotta kill him Oh, I can impulse him, but that still counts as an attack, of course. So now we might be a criminal, I don't know. No, not a criminal. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna kill him. He's hitting me now. And down he goes, but he's not dead. He is in a coma. So you can use him... No, you can't use him to fight the boss. Because the boss drops the key for him. But you can use him then to fight other enemies in the dungeon. And he will always live. Right? Maybe he counts as an enemy now. I don't know. But we didn't get the... The wanted thing. So... It's probably fine. Uh, this is annoying. Ow. That was not how that was supposed to go. He's shooting? Okay, he lost it. Good. A rabbit built. Rest. But there's no more enemies. We'll be fine. I think we might... It might be time to start looting. Oh, there's more here. More dungeon. What does this do now? Pain still. Healing efficiency goes up. Okay. And we have Prudence, Dodge Chance up, Lock Picking and Disarming, okay. Ah, this was the boss room, of course, okay. No boss chest. Another pelt. Okay. We have.
have the arrow. Oh, I haven't looted this room. Here's another chest. Alcohol, money. How do we make more room? Leaving the throwing net behind. Oil. Through the cabbage hourglass. I think we have too much loot and counting the stuff outside. We can't really carry it all. Oh, I have extra trap disarming chance right now with prudence. Okay, so then what? 100%. Okay, maybe get XP for it. Normally I wouldn't. But then... And here... Oh! oh uh -huh. Almost misclicked. <laughs> oh, I haven't checked these containers. We can eat the cabbage now. I think we can drop the amulet here. It's not worth a whole lot. So there. Uh, what about... Yeah, it's worth way more. Uh, this hat... Gives you protection and lowers fumble chance. Energy restoration is super important. Well, I'll take that one. Yeah. It is an upgrade, I think. The one protection. Seventy-five percent chance to disarm this trap because it's more complex, but I think it also gives it a little bit more XP. Not if you fail it. Uh, I do not want to pour out all my water. We lived. All right. Let's just go. Then, now we have a problem, all these pelts. I think the crowbar can go, and the uh, hourglass oil is worth more. We can eat the food. Splint is 35, really? Okay. What? Are they that expensive? They used to be so cheap. The bread was cheap. More pelt. Worth the most. And then a, uh, a wolf pelt here. We need one more slot. Oh, I forgot I have starters. I usually sell this one. Um, we should save that back in town. Treatise is worth good money. Herbal extract. For the wolf pelt. Oh, uh, we need to reorganize here. Good. Go. Fat loot. And a little bit more west.
loving the new items. Tit spotted. We're gonna make a lot of money with this. Plus the quest reward. Good stuff. If we meet a bear, we should lead it into town. I forgot that with the other bear. We could have probably done that. It wasn't that far out. And it's morning. So we'll just go to town. I'm just going to go by memory for what sells most at what places. Uh, tailor stuff sells better at the tailor. The horns, I think, are used for a quest. Bison pelt and horns, it's not the one. The tailor might not have enough money for all this stuff that I'm going to bring him. Look at that. It's all for him. It's a, a, a merry band of tailors that I just slaughtered. One hundred and sixty, two hundred and forty, three hundred and thirty-six. Very nice. And he's out of money. Yep. And I think the novice's mage mantle usually didn't hold it up to Jonas mantle. Let's see. Jonas mantle gives us more protection, more physical resistance. Same bleed resistance. Backfire chance is higher on or or lowered more on the mage mantle. Cooldown duration and then magic power versus restoration and magic power. So cooldown duration i think a little bit more energy restoration is more important but the the cap here yes that one is an upgrade to the peasant cap which isn't that great energy restoration is super important there and then he has a bit of money to buy my other stuff the belt there was fumble chance, but no. I know there's way better builds than that. But then there's the riding boots, which I see no reason why we wouldn't make that upgrade right here. Good. And that would be it for now. Pretty good start, though, after the first dungeon. Getting these kinds of upgrades. We should re oh, I should repair. <laughs> you can tell it's been a while since I played, and we should definitely identify the staff now so that it can be repaired too. Do, 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 do. We keep the books because they're worth more in Manshire. Counter chance and fumble chance. Okay, that's a very really nice upgrade on this stuff. Just for the standard fighting. Don't forget your backpack. You're right, I had another thing in there. Twelve to repair. Oh, 47 to repair. 
25 to sell. Sell it. Don't need no stinking bow. Um, I think more healing self would be nice. And a new bandage. 139 for the Stardust. Or we could save this for boss fighting, you know. Uh, oh, the spoon of wool. So there. Oh, I haven't turned in the quest yet. I think? No. We also need to pick up a new one. Wait, what? I didn't ask for the new quest. Oh, this is the brewery already. I thought there was one more mission for some reason. Uh, okay, so then we gotta do that whole spiel. We can do the brewery. Should be possible. Uh, we gotta talk to the carpenter. Fatigue is at 49 now, so it's just about to turn into the next condition, and I would like to see it, in fact, so I think that's fine. Uh, we gotta go here. You see, you're not that fond of the elder, and then. Uh, hey, about war. Will it free you? Crowns snooze in your tongue, but I can't afford that much. Uh, maybe I could help you with something. Fine, I will do it. And off we go. You'll excuse me, I've done this quest a few times. So we sort of skim through it. You can always ask. If you want me to go over it, I suppose. Let's try picking up some of these, just to see if some of them have an effect of fatigue. Healing efficiency. Health restoration is nice. Bleed resistance, physical resistance, pretty cool. Health restoration, bleed resistance, all good buffs. Straight south. I think we are on the right tile. Gotta find the road. Here it is. Uh, no, it, it looks like it's one further down.
And here we are. Gotta fight two of them. Alright, so yeah, maybe we try the thing where we let them get close. Do I wait for them both? No. Oh, and now I'm out of mana. Okay. That did work out. But 2v1 is still kind of hard. Gotta rest up. Because I think there are more. No? Okay. Good enough. Let's go over here. Oh. Some deer. Billberry. That was intoxication. All right. And so now we'll go up and give that thing to the carpenter and then we'll go and sleep before we head up to the brewery. The brewery. Tiredness. We have stacked into tiredness with the fatigue. Uh, let's see here. It's the same kind of things, just harder debuffs. Skills energy cost, energy restoration minus 10% now. Fumble chance 10% is also kind of nasty. Longer cooldown, more energy cost. So it, it's like, it makes a massive difference whether or not you sleep. Just like in real life. Oh, a snake. CBD. Sap. I didn't make use of the backpack here, I think, but it's fine. Doing the little carpenter thing is not something that we get like a, a lot of loot out of. I think we get uh, some reputation with the town. And then whatever we picked up from, from, from the card there, but that's, that was nothing. 